clicking on this video I'm Helen and I'm a makeup artist in Staffordshire uh, I presume you've clicked on this video to look how I've created this rotten fungus makeup tutorial so I incorporate quite a few different tricks of the special effects world um, to create this makeup look and I'll share them all with you in this video and without further ado I give you my makeup tutorial Bye. Hello and I'm putting on my fabulous little cat ears just to keep my hair off my face and then I'm going in with the ABH brush in number 12 and I'm using the Brow Promade from the same brand in dark brown on my eyebrows. And then I'm just cleaning up underneath the eyebrow and cover covering the rest of my eye with the P. Louise eyeshadow primer and covering up that spot. And then I am just setting the powder using the Laura Mercier powder. Then I am applying the Kiko eyeshadow fat stick pencil in the colour smoke just to my mobile eyelid. And then I'm going in with the colour Guilty from Be Perfect Cosmetics, the Stacey Marie palette. And then I'm just using my MAC 217 brush just to blend out the edges. Then I'm actually going in with a little bit of the colour Wifey and that's on my Sigma brush and then I'm just blending that on top. And then on top of that eyeshadow stick, I'm going in with the colour Hush, and that's from the Stacey Marie palette. And then I'm just using a small blending brush, and I'm using the colour Wasted from the same Stacey Marie palette. And then I'm just going on top of that, and then blending the two colours together. And then I'm just concentrating it a little bit more into the crease line. Then I'm going back on top of that just a little bit higher and I'm using my peaches and cream blending brush and then I'm going in with the colour Guilty again back on top of that wasted colour and it's giving a nice sort of uh, ready purple gradient. Then I'm going back in with my MAC NC15 Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm just creating a spotlight. And then on top of that spotlight I am actually applying the pigment from Peaches and Cream in the colour Phoenix just on top. And then I'm going in on the outside and on the inside of the eye using the colour Liquor from the Stacey Marie palette. And then I'm just going round and over that spotlight. And then I'm going back in with my Sigma brush and then I'm just blending those two together. And I'm going in using my MAC eye pencil in the colour phone number. And then I'm using my small blending brush from Sigma and I'm using the colour Wasted just to blend out that waterline. And then I'm adding the colour Phoenix from Peaches and Cream underneath my eye. And 
and then I'm just wiping away using a makeup wipe all of the pigments and that that have fallen onto the face and then I'm applying the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer all over my face and I'm just using a pea size amount and then I'm going in with the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in the colour NC20 and I'm just applying that all over my face and I'm actually blending that right up to the eye and underneath And then I'm just applying the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder just underneath the eyes. And I'm applying my favourite mascara from Maybelline. All these products will be listed below. And then I actually applied quite a few individual lashes to top and underneath the bottom lash line. And then here I'm actually contouring using the Benefit Hula Bronzer and then using blush from MAC in the colour Peaches and highlighting with Illamasqua in the colour Wow on the high points of my cheeks and then just on top of my Cupid's bow and then here's the fun bit, I'm now actually adding a bit of porridge oats to my face mixed in with some latex and I'm just pushing that all over the face leaving little bits to dangle and, and look like it's falling off because it all adds to the effect So here I'm actually applying the Mayron coagulated blood onto the porridge oats and this is quite a good effect for giving like a rotten look. And I just apply this coagulated blood all over the porridge oats it just gives a really really good effect making sure some drip as well all looks good around the mouth and then and here I'm applying the MAC pencil lip pencil in the colour cherry and then I'm going to go over my lips using the Lime Crime with lipstick in the colour Riot and then this is the finished look I hope you enjoyed this simple tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I'm uploading quite a few Halloween tutorials I've got loads in the pipeline and I look forward to seeing you again in the future bye